Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a Hobby Lobby haul. Um, just like the Michaels haul, I've never done a Hobby Lobby haul, um, though I do shop at Hobby Lobby quite a bit, but sometimes I only pick up like one or two things because these things can be expensive. Um, so I don't really do hauls on it, but I did pick up quite a few things, um, mostly for tutorials I'm planning on doing that might already be up by the time um, this video comes up, depending on where I'm at in editing and uploading. But um, anyways, let's get this haul started. The first thing I picked up was some scrapbook paper. Um, I really, when I, I saw this on one of my, um, when they first came out with them, I saw them on one of my like planner groups on Facebook and I thought they were so pretty so I had to get them myself. I think this is super pretty. I don't know if I could do a little, hold on. I kind of get the pink tape off. Right. So this is this one. I think it's super pretty. Oh, I like that one. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I love the lemons. I'm kind of wishing it was still acceptable to do summer spreads because I would totally want to do a lemon spread, but I guess I will save that till next year. Ooh, the plaid's super pretty. So that is the Oh My Lemons. They also have these in big ones, but since I mostly just use these for cutting out squares for my planner, there's really no point in me paying the extra $10 to get them in big size. The next one I got was the Bloom Boutique. So this is this one. Oh, I absolutely, that just gives me such a Kate Spade vibe, and I love Kate Spade. That is super pretty. That one. That's really pretty too. Oh, butterflies. You guys know I absolutely love butterflies. Ooh, that's really pretty too. I just love this scrapbook paper. It is so pretty. It's gonna be really pretty for spring spreads. Oh. So pretty. Florally, shabby chic. I absolutely love it. The next one I got is this boho vibe. I don't know why, but I have so been drawn to these colors lately. I just think they're super pretty. And these aren't even like my favorite colors because purple is my favorite color. But I've just been absolutely loving this like pretty um, turquoise blue with the pink. I just think it's so pretty. Let me open this one up and I'll show you guys so what it looks like. The first one, so pretty. Oh, dream catchers. Pretty. Absolutely love this. Ooh, those are really pretty. Oh, I like those. Those would be really pretty. Cut out and put in the planner spread. That is so pretty. I love this one. It says follow your follow your dreams. That is so pretty. Like that. Oh, so shabby chic. I absolutely love the shabby chic trend. I ooh, those are really pretty. The next one I got was Mintberry, which is such a cute little name. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, I like that one. That one's really pretty. I like the mint and I really like that one. That's really pretty too. So shabby chic. I'm really loving this whole like shabby chic thing that's been going on lately. Look at that. That is so pretty. These look so pretty with planner spreads. I'm thinking of so many planner spreads right now. That I could do with this and I'm kind of sad it's not spring right now we're going into fall which by the way is like my favorite season but why do we now I'm like wishing it was kind of spring so I could use this paper we always want what we don't have right all year I'm waiting for fall now it's fall I'm wishing for spring the next thing I picked up were some wooden boxes again I mentioned in my Michaels haul video that I am doing decadent tutorials again those videos might be up by the time I get to this to edit and upload this but this one's just a little bit of a shorter box and it has a two thing, which would be really cool for like um, the journaling cards like holder. I think they would fit. Or even just like scrapbook paper when you cut it out for squares for your happy planner. It would be a really cool storage box. Then this one's just a regular. I love the smell of wood. Anyone else weird like that? I love smell of wood. And let me say, these actually smell better than the Michaels ones. Like, the Michaels ones didn't really smell like wood. These smell like wood. So, Michaels ones really aren't wood, I guess. Anyways, this is this one. Just a little lock. Opens up. 
have decadent tutorials for those. Next thing I picked up was some fake strawberries. Again, this will be in a decadent tutorial I have an idea for. So they're just like little styrofoam bag of fruit strawberries. So excited to use these. Which, those were a lot cheaper in Hobby Lobby than Michael's. Michael's wanted $7.49. Michael's wanted $7.49 and you didn't even get that many. So the next thing I got was a heart punch. I, if you have been with me since the beginning, you remember when I did a Dollar Tree haul with the holographic and foil paper and said I was going to do a resin tutorial. Well, fun fact, I did record that video. I did record it, um, but apparently my proportions on how I cut out the hearts did not work because when I popped out my resin, um, my resin thing, which I didn't think it was a big deal that the paper was kind of bent over a little bit on the sides. But when I popped, um, when I unmolded my resin pieces, it was like, it looked a freaking mess. And I just trashed the video and was like, I got to think of a better way of doing this, you know, neater or whatever. And I just have not come around to filming it again, but I am going to film it. Um, so I got a little heart cutter that will just perfectly cut out the heart that I need, which I mean, I'm going to plan on doing other of these. This was 50% off. So I felt it was worth the investment. This is actually pretty heavy. It's not as heavy as the Martha Stewart punches, but it has a nice weight to it. So I've never used the Hobby Lobby punches. So have you guys used them? How do they work? Let me know in the comment section down below. So the next thing I picked that. up was just some 3D puffy paint. Again, I'm gonna be using these in decadent tutorials. I'm um, basically <laughs> basically like this is a chocolate sauce and this is a strawberry sauce. So super excited to try these out. And the last thing I picked up was just some more acrylic paint in the colors mint, I don't know if you can even tell, mint and pink. I love these colors. Like I said, like with the boho thing, like these colors lately, actually not even lately, this has literally been the past year and a half, two years, I have just been loving pink and mint and like pink and turquoise and just absolutely love those colors. So these are for the decadent tutorials that I have in mind. So watch out for those again. Sorry if I've said that 20,000 times by now. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my Hobby Lobby haul. Let me know in the comment section below if you do enjoy this type of content. I will upload more Hobby Lobby hauls. Of course, I'm not going to just buy stuff just to show you guys, you know, what you can get at Hobby Lobby. I'm only gonna do haul videos based on me actually buying stuff for a need and a use, the same with my Dollar Tree haul videos. Um, those videos, you know, when I talked about scheduling, the haul videos, I have no plan to have on a schedule. I'm not gonna hold myself to have to have a haul video every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, and be, you know, basically forced to buy stuff that I might not want, might not use, just to have content. Um, Dollar Tree, I usually go to every week um, when I get paid and pick up a few things. So those videos will probably be weekly. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Tuesday morning, that's just a little bit more expensive. Um, it, it, and it's also based on need if I actually need things um, that I shop at those stores. Um, so that's my little rant. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I am Craft Junkie and I would love for you guys to join me on my journey through YouTube, which has been great so far. I've, I have very much enjoyed my YouTube journey thus far going into my, it'll be my third, well this is, I'm almost coming up finishing my second month of YouTube and going on my third month. I'm really excited to see where my channel goes in another month. So. Um, thanks guys. I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.